Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 60. Yes, it is October the 2nd, 2023, a powerful time in life, a powerful time for entrepreneurs, a powerful time in general. We're moving towards, you know, um, beyond fall equinox. So a lot of things are taking place, um, moving forward for us. So it is time for us to move forward as well. And in moving forward, what do we have to do? We have to take accountability. We have to motivate ourselves to get up every day. You know, there may be times where you just don't feel like getting up. You don't feel like being a part of your day. You just want to relax and you want to sit there and you want to just be in that moment. But what happens when you look around after that moment has come and gone you see that you've been absent. We've been absent from the day-to-day functions in our everyday world. So we have to take accountability and be that part and show up in our everyday journey. Not just because today you're feeling good. Not just because today is your your day, uh, you're going to get a promotion, you're going to move, you're going to, whenever there's something happening that is, is extreme, people show up in their lives. Get, get that. We get that, entrepreneurs. But my shining entrepreneurs, I want you to understand that people may try to influence the prevention of shining more than others. And it's okay to do that. It is in your own right, without the bragging rights, without the ego. But if you do it because it's genuine, it's not the same. It doesn't even perceive to be the same when others look upon you and they start to strategize of how you're doing what you're doing. They're just in awe that you're doing it. So I need you to understand that. So when you're starting a business, when you're putting your brand together, you're building that legacy. So you're starting that concept for others to see, and they're going to follow that. They're going to see what triggers they can promote in you. They're going to see how they can um, maneuver through to, to see if you could get distracted. But the majority of the time, they're only watching. They're only watching because they're in amazement. Everyone can't do what everyone else can do, but everyone has the opportunity to do whatever they choose to do and, and, and be successful at it. You don't have to be known by the world to be a success or a shining entrepreneur. You, you shine within yourself. You do. And that brings me to looking at the business concepts of both you know, uh, the music industry and Hollywood. And, you know, that plays a part to me because it makes me feel like, were these people drug into the scenario? Were they bullied into being the characters they play on TV as fiction, but in reality pull that seed and plant that seed within them and then show it to the world as their original character? and leave that legacy as a potential perspective that we, as the onlooker of the character, would think that this person is like. You know, I mean, as I look, uh, thank you all for being here in the podcast today. We have 13 people today. Um, And I do want to take this and I want to say Um, before we get any deeper, that I really appreciate the team that's making the dream work at Serenity House here in Youngstown, Ohio, where we provide seats of opportunity, one opportunity at a time. We, we, We provide seats of hope, one opportunity at a time. And that means if we have to support someone from another location and bring them here and help them build their basic life skill. You know, teach them how to live with a family and support who they are internally. And that is powerful. And it's it's something that I'm being, you know, I, I was stopped the other day 
And I was questioned, how are you doing this all by yourself? Well, I'm not by myself. I have a wonderful team of advisors, community advisors, housing advisors, support sponsors, investors, backers, and just community advocates, people who truly know the journey that I've went and come through and who's really trying to help build that opportunity so that others can survive and thrive through it. And, you know, it's not just about second chance individuals. It's about individuals who are dealing with divorces, uh, working with individuals who are dealing with losing their jobs, helping individuals who are trying. See, there's a difference. See, everybody can shine and everybody has a, a sob story to tell. But the reality is how, how much more is your story than someone else? Sometimes it's not anting it up to the point where everyone has to feel this certain way about the worst case story. It's about what moves the mission as a nonprofit here. It's what moves the mission, what makes it relevant, what makes it sincere, and how that person is going to benefit. If that person is not going to get up to do anything with their lives, if that person is not going to get up to maneuver through life and fight the channels and fight the, you know, whatever entities that may be within them that they have to face, and if they're not willing to heal, then why would someone else be willing to take on the battle of helping that individual when that individual cannot help themselves? First, you have to learn that you have five things that you need to do. You need to deal with your basic functions of everyday living, take showers, get up, eat, you know, take medicine if you need to, um, wean yourself off the medicine because a lot of times medicine can be the very downfall of why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. Because if you don't get up and do something with your life, then that life will be the legacy in which you remember that you possessed here on planet Earth and others will perceive that as a legacy you leave behind. The second thing is to empower yourself to know that you are someone. You are someone. So when you get up and you Make those moves to do your basic functions, because even if the basic functions of life is not handled, it's going to be difficult for you to even be in the arena to help yourself, you know, even to protect yourself. So safety is a vital, important part of the basic living structures that happens in our lives. And then after that, the, the love and the romance and the relationship, you know, if you can handle your basic functions, you can get a job, you can keep a job, you can hold a job, you can put a bank account in, uh, into action and do that, then yeah, you can start a business. You can really and truly start a business because you know the basic functions to it. And then being safe and secure in the business in which you brand is going to be vital. And then moving into the relationships, the commitments, the the loyalty relationships, those relationships that you're going to be able to determine if it is narcissistic or if it is something that is genuinely important to you that you know that you can persevere from. And then you move on to your abilities to know and believe in yourself to that point where it's so extensive entrepreneurs, that you know for a fact that you can sustain yourself. You can be responsible enough to have it like uh, insurance in order to drive your vehicle. You're going to be smart enough to save and, you know, be able to purchase a house, first time home buyer, you know. Um, you're going to be smart enough to make the moves to get the interest rate that is at the level in which you know you can afford you're not going to go out and get a $710,000 home because it looks beautiful. It's a mansion. No, you're going to do what you need to do in order to maintain the lifestyle in which you know is necessary for you to live. 
And the fifth is just actualize your engagement. That means you are on your way to successfully building your brand and leading your life in the way that it should go. And everything is, is falling into place. Everything. You know, all your bills are getting paid. You're owning homes now. You're, you're uh, building your brand and clients are calling you left and right. You are in the brick and mortar building. You're successful. You're helping people. You're empowering people. You're, you're helping people find areas of living that they never knew existed. That's when you know you're doing your ultimate best. You know, sometimes I look at Hollywood and I sit back and I look at Hollywood and I look at the music industry and I say to myself, were these people bullied into the character in which the legacy directed them to be a part of or were they that person from the very beginning? So I want to let you hear something. Um, rest in peace to Mr. Tupac Shakur. Um, I do want to put this on today for my entrepreneurs to look at the success legacy of what we're going to leave behind. Now, everyone knows the fatal story of, of Tupac Shakur. So now we look at the industry and what is going on with Robert Sylvester Kelly as well. On one hand, we can say that these are shining stars that were entrepreneurs, businessmen who had no control of their business savvy, but yet, they had to do what they had to do and move through the process of the business. But here's the, here's the question. Were these people who they were before they came into the industry or did these people get played by the industry? That's a question that I want to ask you because if leaders get played by the industry in which they're branding then anything can happen to that individual, to that brand. Kennedy, thank you so much. His Tupac's brand became what it was because, as you say, he bullied his way into the industry through his lyrics, through his life, through the characters in which he played, and manifesting those words upon his life. Let's take a listen. Let's take a quick listen here. I can't explain why I shine and no one else shines. I think everybody shines in different things. And a lot of things I can't do. I can't play basketball like every other black person in America. But I can act. I, I know how to go to that true spot in myself because I'm there every day. I can be me. I can be whoever because I'm true to me. I can go to neutral easily. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I can go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I can walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. It's there. It's not sold. I didn't sell it. It's still within me. I still feel it. My heart is still connected to my body. So I, I could, any character, I'm going to bring that intensity, that truth, and that honesty to it because I have to repay for, for that blessing from black Jesus, from God. I have to pay for that by shining. If he give you the voltage and you waste it, that's the curse. He gave me the voltage, I'm a shine. It's not mine, it's from God, it's God. Not that it's so special that nobody got it, but all of our gifts and blessings and, and our strengths and our weaknesses come from God. Come from black Jesus or whoever comes from within you. You know what I mean? So, so I want to leave that with you, that it's not about shining so the world can see. It's about you shining from within yourself. And when you let that light shine, it's just going to be a aura that embellishes the body. And this is what he was talking about. Now, if he had stayed on the path of what he just said, his legacy would be different. His life circumstance would have been different. 
When we refuse to see the character flaws that we do have, but we know better, it's a reprobation. It's a, it's a mindset that says, it's okay for me to know what's, what's real and have it in my soul and lock it in my soul from what Tupac stated was black Jesus. Okay. God almighty. But it is another thing when we take that and know that and still choose to go a different route, knowing the truth within us. We're playing with that dark vibration. We're playing with that essence of the unknown, mysterious black hole within the conjuring of what is unknown in the world. And a lot of people like to play with that energy. I believe that entrepreneurs like to play with that energy when they will do anything and everything for the almighty dollar because it is going to pay the bills or because they're at their wits end and they don't know how they're going to function. These are things, these are concepts, entrepreneurs, that I want you to understand. We don't want to go down that path, that path of depression, where we deal so much with people's uh, unhealed trauma that all we do is fight and fight and fight. And it weighs on our health and our mental state to where we can't function in our business. These are the moral values and teachings that I want to share. And this is the legacy that I want to build here at Chronicles of a Nonprofit because we're going to deal with the highs and lows regardless. So why not be genuinely pure and true to ourselves so that we know what it is, not just to shut it off, not just to hide it, not just to push it down because that we don't want to hear it because we want, we don't want to hear it because it annoys the spirit. When we're in that darkness, the truth annoys the spirit because it makes us accountable deep down inside when we're doing what we do in the dark. We hear that because we are planting seeds of hope, one opportunity at a time. So don't come here thinking that it's a game to be played because we're going to make you be accountable for what it is you need to do for your life when you're with the Youngstown Community Center, Serenity, or um, Hope House. We're going to make you accountable. And you may not like it. It may not feel good. It may be, it may piss you off. But if we have to do it, you have to do it. So entrepreneurs, I just wanted to send that shining message out to you and let you know that life is beautiful. Life is grand. It's it's, it's wonderful. And you don't have to shine to the world. Just shine within yourself and others. That one person that's about to give up on life could be the very person that sees that aura shining and say, wow, that person is doing it. I can do this. It can happen. I see it moving rampantly through my community. People are are believing in themselves. They're empowering themselves. They're motivating themselves. Shout out to the wonderful person who donated the Nikes, the white women's slippers, the reindeer socks, and the black pair of tennis shoes and brown pair of loafers. I sent them over to my Serenity women. And um, yes, and we're so grateful. We are so grateful. Thank you. Um, Also to the gentleman and his son who dropped off um, the extensive amount of meat (laughs) that we got. Uh, We had to open up our deep freezer because it was too much to hold in our small upright freezer. So we're so grateful. Thank, you know, the owner of the location of Serenity House. May you continue to be blessed by giving us the opportunity to help and empower women. You are a shining star. You know who you are. And, and you know what we experienced, you know what we dealt with, but through it all, someone's going to be able to look back at your legacy and say, this man provided 
and help to provide the backing and support to keep women uh, safe. So we really, really, really appreciate it. Everything. All of our maintenance and handymen who came in and did the part, played the role, and used their talents and gifts to shine, to make that house presentable, it's the village. It's the village. It's the community that's making this gear up, you know? <laughs> I'm also even grateful to the entrepreneurs that come to Chronicles of a Nonprofit to just look and listen to some of the highs and lows that are happening here at a nonprofit. You know what I mean? Whether you're for profit, nonprofit, sole proprietor, or just a basic leader in your own life, these areas of thought pertain to you because it could happen. Things in the nonprofit can happen to anyone in life. But leaving that legacy and building that brand to perfection of you. Not perfection of others, but perfection of what you feel perfection is. You'll be so much happier with your life. So much happier. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being consistent. Thank you so much for being on time and being the best version of the person walking in your shoes today. And hold on to your experiences that make you greater because they will make you greater later. Okay. And with that, we will see you next time.